material for the Battlefield 4 key bindings, just in case if somebody's new to the game, trying out the beta, my recommendations. You might find something that works for you, but maybe you'll find something in this video that you didn't even think of that you want to add to your setup. This is what I use, and hopefully it can help beginners, or maybe even veteran players can take something from this and make good use of it. So first of all, I just got ASDW as movement keys. I use my caps lock for voice over IP. I use tab for scoreboard, shift to run, X is my crouch button. And that's to toggle crouch. I hit X and I'm automatically staying down crouching. I uh, use 2 and 3 for just my toggle on my weapons. Like flashlight would be 2 on and off. And 3 would be from burst fire, single shot, full auto. And then reload. Pretty much everything else I use on my mouse. Which I'm going to show you that right now. This is my mouse, it's just Logitech gaming mouse. They make about a new one every year, and most of them are set up like this. I like this one because I have I can flick the mouse wheel left or right and get two extra commands. First I'll start off with the mouse wheel. Okay. Scrolling up on any kind of class on my soldier, recon, engineer, assault, support, goes straight to the second gadget. Scroll down this gadget. And now flicking the mouse wheel to the right automatically goes reload. Which is set to R. I have it bound to R. So if I'm in a gunfight, just move my finger over, reload, quick, easy. And same thing with one being over here, my left flick, it actually brings out my pistol. Well, actually that would be my right flick and left flick is to reload they're on opposite sides kinda confusing but yeah my right flick is gonna bring out the pistol sidearm so run out of ammo getting low on ammo if you need to whip out that pistol just click it over and then middle mouse click button that brings out grenades click it once I got a grenade and then I throw it with my fire button left click button. These are my DP buttons up down. I have my DP set in battlefield, sensitivity set in battlefield at 20% and I run 950. The first one is alt and that is my prone position so whenever I want to go prone it's right there which I rarely use it so that's why I put it up there. My thumb sets closer to these two buttons which for that is bound as my toggle primary weapon so no matter what I'm doing I got a repair torch I need to go right to my primary weapon it's right there one click away my thumbs usually on it all the time and the other button C that is my crouch button that's the that's not toggle crouching that's just one press the longer you hold it down the longer you crouch and it's also bound to my knife also in game in the game settings I always have my knife and this crouch together because if somebody knifes me or somebody comes up to me I'll automatically crouch and knife and as soon as I let off of it the knife goes away and I come out of crouch so I don't know sometimes they knife over my head I get up under and stick them right in the belly and now in a tank a tank or a vehicle click the mouse automatically puts me in third person mode and then right clicks to zoom in left clicks to fire uh, scrolling up switches to my secondary weapon in the tank and then same thing with the heli alt puts me straight into the driver's seat so if I'm in a transport vehicle I need to go straight to the driver it's just right up there don't really use four and I don't use R or reload. I can use reload for rocket pods, but I rarely use that just to reload rocket pods or anything. The tank usually auto reloads, and C is always countermeasures. But 4 also switches cycles through seats in a vehicle. But I like to have always go to driver, so if I need to get 
hell out of dodge. It's right there. Back to the keyboard for a vehicle. It's just standard shift, is throttle up, crouch, is, or control is crawl, ASD, moves forward, back. This is in game footage of my key bindings. I'm just going to run through them real quick so you can see how they work. Like I said, aim down sights, right click, fire, left click, uh, left flick, it's actually the side on, right flick is the reload. And then pushing in the mouse button is your grenade. Now I can target which way I want to throw this grenade! and then hit the fire button and throw it. And that's all for the mouse wheel. Moving down to my thumb buttons, my hotkeys on my mouse, the first one, which is bound to alt, is prone. And that's toggling, so I stay down. The second one is the crouch knife. Which is like if you hold it down, kind of like Metal Gear Solid, you can sneak around. And you can also kind of get to jump on a knife fight. If you let off of it, you pop back up. And then the third button is always to your primary weapon. And if you just touch the second hot key button, you just knife and you go straight back to your primary. You don't even have to use the third hot key button. But that one is always to my primary. And now in a vehicle, enter in with E, mouse wheel up, switches to your second weapon in the driver's seat, mouse wheel up again, goes back to my main cannon, clicking in the mouse button, takes me to third person view, clicking in again, goes back to the first person, four, cycle seats in a transport vehicle or take you straight up to the gunner seat in your tank. If you want to go back to the driver's seat, that is the first hotkey button on the mouse. The second hotkey button is always countermeasures, and the third cycles through seats. I can jump in here, I can go straight to gunner, and it'll take me to my side seat driver position. And I have to go to the back, back, so if I want to go straight up to the gunner, and go straight to the driver's seat, it's my first hotkey button. I'm out of here. See y'all on the battlefield. Peace out.